My cooking journey started back in high school. My parents took me out of my school that I loved, and then they're like, hey, we're moving up to the lake. And then the first day of that new school, a kid came up to me, he was like, hey, you're the new kid? I said, yeah, he's like, you want a job? I said, sure, and he's like, I'm a chef. And it was at this adult only resort up on the lake. I spent two days in the dish bed and then quickly made it into pastry. And from there, we went to culinary school, did my internship with OMB at Canoe. From there, it was like four different chefs came through that kitchen that I grew right. all mentored me from Jason Manganer, uh, Anthony Walsh, and Mark St. Jack. Yeah, so I'm the culinary director for Our House Hospitality, the executive chef of Prime Seafood Palace, and then a partner in Our House as well. The name Prime Seafood Palace is like, Prime rib, and we have prime rib every night. And right. We're like, we really stay true to want to be a steakhouse and have the steaks on the menu. And so that's, that's, what the, that's the thinking behind the name, right? Prime. Yeah. For prime. Prime rib. Prime rim. Seafood. 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 Palace. Palace is the washroom. Oh yeah. Yeah, the washroom. For sure. We. I got you. The shot we did in the bathroom was fucking. Is glorious. You got that's like the daytime office. Like, yeah. If you're on the <laughs> phone in there. It echoes, so we can just hear what you're saying the whole time. Oh my God, if you're watching some porn in there, be more like, yeah. The thing about here is the architect, and uh, we can go right into that. Yeah, I was gonna say. Is, uh, yeah, that's a good Mark point. OG architect, and this was his first restaurant that he's really ever built out the whole thing. and. Uh, one of his teammates, uh, Steph, is really who brought it home for us and was there. He DMs Maddie, and I remember seeing the DM, like, hey, like, let's do something. And then this, uh, how it was created, and Maddie's whole thing was like, hey, like, uh, I want something like a cathedral feel, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, and then almost a lobster basket all tied into one. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Canadian oak and maple. And uh, see, I didn't even know this, but that makes so much sense. A fucking basket for lobster, yeah. Okay, Wolves. Okay, okay, okay. Chef, this is Rob. 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 Michelle. 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 So this is, this was like a take here is like, think of a whole seafood platter. Like, um, like Mexican style, right? Like the. Yeah, but this, then it's like, hey, it's all. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. like, think of a whole seafood platter, but it's all in one cup. Because then we make these crackers in house too, and they like, we use the um, the roller for the when you make beef Wellington, the lattice cutter. Right. Yeah. So we use that to cut the crackers, and it leaves this cool imprint. Oh wow, that's sick. And then uh, yeah, so here you got clamato, hot sauce. That was like, all right, we can do this, but can you make it steakhouse? That's always the and that's always yeah. the goal. It's like, hey, can we do this? But how is it in steakhouse? So it's like really kind of ran with like we love the glass, we love the brass. We love what? seafood. So this kind of like really activated in the, the winter when it's like you got Dungeons crab, lobster, mussels, clams, shrimp in there. And then it's like spicy. It's acidic. There's fresh lemon juice in there, red onion, and then uh, sometimes caviar. Go for it. Yeah, I'll build it for you. Build, okay, there you go. That's nice, Chef. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Surprise, salty. How would you guys say? Nice Lights bright from the caviar. Yeah. Dude, I love it. It's like all you want at the same time. The last thing to Amy is the lobster at the end. I just like eating spoonfuls of that. Yeah, straight up. But look at that fatty girl. That's a salt spring uh, muscle. Salt spring. Wrong. B-I? B-C. B-C. <laughs> Wrong coast. The other coast. <laughs> the other coast. You're closer to the east coast. <laughs> so like for the menu, like you always kind of like just go with whatever's in season. Very seasonal. Is, Very is that a challenge for you? Like to kind of like... I, feel, I just feel like other seasons like kind of are starting to be like more different than they used to. Like it's like shorter sometimes. It's like, well, that's like the communication that has to happen. It's like with the farmers, like, hey, what's coming next week? What do you got going? How many more weeks do you got of this? Who else are you selling this to? So you guys really work like hand in hand, like yeah, hand, yeah. Hand, and we've been doing that for the last two and a half years. So I'm like, next, this is our English muffin that we make in house, cultured butter. We've had this since day one. Same kind of culture moving forward. Yeah, two years now. So then we've had uh, steakhouse bacon on since day one. Oh, and it's kind of like a chasu marinade. We uh, this kind of before we opened PSP, me and Maddie ripped to New York for a nice eating just like the week before we opened. So some some R R and D, little R and D, and then uh, Peter Luger's was definitely on the yeah go there classic steakhouse. That first yeah, it was this thick cut bacon and just like a shrimp cocktail. And I was like, oh, this this is the food that. We can cook for the rest of our life. So that's kind of like yeah. your your uh, your twist on like the 
Yeah, the bacon and shrimps. The bacon and shrimps, butter, soft. M's on there. That's crazy. And bacon, like, on the side or what? You well, just now put the bacon on your plate. You know, okay. It's like, okay, okay, okay. I like this combo between the the creaminess of the clams. The deep also that's put the bacon on top. Is that crazy or what? Yeah, you can definitely do that. Put that there. Oh, that's. I mean, that looks that's fucking sexy, right? That's a move. And then some extra sauce. Yeah, that's a little pork. That looks fucking crazy. Yeah, let's do it at the same time. Oh, I'm going with no well, bacon. Fuck. Yeah, you look at this, bro. Clams? What's, clams. It, what's in there again? Just like a clam chowder. With okay, yeah. White wine, shallots, butter, cream. Okay, let's try it. Yeah. Are you serious, bro? Damn. We get it happens. Fuck, that's good. We like to start with cold seafood here. <laughs> yeah. Get into the warm seafood. Yeah. And then you have your steak dinner. That's... That's that's, 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 that's that's how it should always be. Yeah, yeah. it's wet. Are you rated at a ten? That's uh, fuck. I don't even know. I would say an, a nine point two, just because there was not enough clams in my mouth. Oh, yeah, I feel, I've had too many on mine. That's what it is. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> the thing about this restaurant is like so many people travel here, and it's also a special occasion. Plus, it's also a neighborhood spot right. and family spot. Like, the amount of kids that roll through here is amazing to see. Saturday, that first seating is all kids and their families. And people just want to lounge and eat yeah. steaks. Yeah. And uh, then, you know, your Thursday, Friday night, it, that second seating, 9 o'clock, it's a party in here. Less know? kids. So that, like, yeah, less kids. No kids. Yeah, no kids. No kids. Full, full send, you'd say? Yeah, yeah I would say that for sure, yeah. Send. I could be a full sender. Uh, no, I think it is uh, such an industry spot, too. Yeah. The amount of people come through here. And then I don't think it hurts that Maddie has a lot of friends now. and Maddie, uh, Maddie who? You know, in America yeah. that are known for their movies and TV shows. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. That's I didn't think about it. that. Yeah. I see a lot of that as well. I've heard, I've heard some um, some Canadian sensation by the name of Justin. You know, he, he came in here... He had a party just for his uh Of course entourage. he Yeah, of course he, you know. Yeah. Okay, chef, what do we have here? Start with our tenderloin. Ontario Prime, tender, nine ounces. Uh, pants here, trusted in peppercorns. Then our opois sauce, lots of brandy, peppercorns, and uh, beef garum in there. And what's this on top? And then this is our Quebec Bois. Look at the color of this. And then we have our... Look at the color of this thing. Welsh Brothers green asparagus with this beautiful bar tart coming from Spain. And then we've made this egg yolk uh, emulsion pride sauce with smoked butter, Canadian rye, and more beef garum. Which I've tried earlier on cam, and it was amazing. I just tried this beef and for Oh, man, that is crazy, bro. I think nine ounces is the right amount. I think so. That's the bite. Whoa. You see this? But with that sauce. Look at our troll. <laughs> oh my god. The beef is so really tender. Good. Nice little pepper sauce. Fatty foie. Yeah, it's really that's like our kind of a steakhouse staple there. We need like to um to add the foie or is it kind of just no, and you can add foie to any steak. That's the beautiful thing. Can you add foie to anything you want? Anything you want, you know. <laughs> anything. Try the asparagus, man. Like, this is just blanch to order. Bro, oh, this is what I'm wrong with. Oh, yeah. That's good bite to it. What's worse than the fucking overcooked asparagus anyway? You know, it's so sad. I love that. Wow. Mm. I'm going to dry this pork dog up. Mm-hmm. With the sauce. Oh, yeah. It gets a lot, like, just blends in there perfectly. For those who don't know, the targa is cured mullet roll. Yeah. Dude, this is one of the best steaks on the menu. If anybody's ripping fillets, then they uh, they don't understand. Right? They don't. Okay. Last but not least. The grand finale. This came on the menu a year ago. We were at Tamarack Farms. We went up there to make maple syrup with the, with Nancy and Richard and the, and the team there. And uh, we brought back all this beautiful maple syrup. And then we're like... What are we doing with it? And then we're like, we need a maple syrup, yeah, maple butter tart on the menu. And then it's like, okay, what are we putting on it? And then I was with Afrim, and then I got the Delice de Bourguignon. We put it back and brought it here and put it on top, the first one, and it was it. That's insane. And now we warm it up, and it's even more insane. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, 
Quebecois pure breed. So, you know, I'm going to be a hard judge on this one, you know? The highest of the supreme that at this school. You know, maybe I have maple running in my veins, maybe, you know? Pretty much. Yeah. Is that what? I brush my teeth with fucking maple syrup. All right, let's check it out. The buff is buff pastry? Buff pastry. Yeah. The buff pastry. And you know, that's the thing, like sometimes people fucking undercook it. Nothing more sad than a shitty buff pastry. This one's like perfect. You see how flaky it is? Salty, delicious cheese, sweet maple. I know, it just, it just works. It's a beautiful thing, chef. Chef, amazing dinner. Thanks for having us. Laurent, our pleasure. It's, uh, you know, it just feels good to have people. Uh, the, the amount of just warm feeling you get from everybody coming to Prime Seafood Palace, the feedback. Uh, to anybody who has never been to Prime Seafood Palace, I hope this gives you a little insight to what we do, what the whole team does. Basically, what he's saying is, if you live in the GTA, you haven't been here. No, if you live in Canada. If you're in the Western, Emis- West, Western Hemisphere, if you haven't been here, what the fuck are you doing, you know? Make a trip out of it, it's worth it. PSP, baby. Colson. PSP, baby. So, guys, that's a wrap on my visit to Prime Seafood Palace here in beautiful Toronto. The food was out of this world. Every bite was a treat. And the staff, super nice and welcoming. They really made this experience a special one. Huge thanks to everyone at Prime Seafood Palace for such a great time. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Let us know in the comments what's your favorite restaurants. And who knows, maybe we'll pay them a visit. See you next time.